We're going to talk about dehydrating sugar with concentrated sulfuric acid and just sugar. So when you add concentrated sulfuric acid to it, it rips all the hydrogens off and the, ca and the carbon gets carbonized. It gets turned into carbon. And all the oxygen goes as well. And it goes as water and steam. And you can see it's starting to bubble with all the steam coming out. And we'll see that more later. On a bigger experiment, we put it in a boiling tube, more sugar, and we see it rises up. It's really quite cool. And it creates this black carbon. It smells of burnt sugar. It's really quite cool. Get your teacher to do it. Now, we did it in a smaller beaker with more sugar. And you can see here, hopefully, once I've mixed it all together, it took a couple of minutes, but we sped all these videos up to make it look a bit quicker for you, take less time. And you can see, look at all that steam coming out there and all the carbon rising out like this big tube of carbon. And you can crush that when it's all dried up because it's just dry, just really dry, brittle carbon. But we had one more to do. We had the really big one to do. So here's the large beaker and you can see it coming up like that. And that's just a huge column of carbon and all the hydrogens and oxygens are ripped off and this is a test in the drugs industry they do this on drugs to see how much carbon they can produce and that's a test to see drugs are okay but our one looks really really cool so if you look at all four of them like that and that is your dehydration of sugar